Yes, I like my gadgets and technology. One of my favorites the last couple years has been the FLIR One camera. It's a little sensor you mount on your smart device, and voila, your smartphone becomes a thermal camera. But as you know, I spent a lot of time using drones the last seven or eight years and been looking forward to a responsibly priced, if you would, drone that has thermal technologies. And it's finally arrived. I saw it first at the Consumer Electronics Show, and then it took a few weeks to get it to my driveway, and I put it up in the air right away. And it was pretty neat at home in the snow to see the thermal image of our house. Taking that one step further to a recent trip to California, I was really excited to look at that practical application. So I asked the producer in his dormant wine grapes, a friend of mine, would he turn on his irrigation system? Now we knew there were some meters out and we knew there was going to be some water leaks and I wanted to demonstrate those. You can see it right here. And as I went through the color palette, you could easily see this is the heat image and the darker blue color is the cooler, the red is hot. You could see where that water is. Now this water was actually in a storage tank, so believe it or not, the temperature was rather warm, and even in a video setting, you could easily see that. I'm real excited about the use of this from an inspection standpoint. Here's a windmill and an avocado orchard, and I, as I scroll through the different settings of the camera, Certainly this technology is going to be very welcomed by our livestock producers and those of you that operate maybe even grain elevators. Been a lot of talk about using thermal technology there as well. Reporting on technology for This Week in Agribusiness, I'm Chad Colby.